I was reading an amazing information about El Salvador homicide rate and how the government's politics has made to reduce in incredible speed this rate. Let's use R to create amazing visualizations about this data. I'm going to show you how to copy and paste data from the web in easy way in order to create amazing visualizations using ggplot2. We're going to going to copy this data from the web in an easy way to reproduce certain visualizations. Let's use R now. Why to use these methods? Because they are so easy to apply and we will have an efficient and fast workflow. Once we apply it, the accuracy of the data importation is going to be a pass and is a simple data integration in the R Studio environment that we will going to use. In this chapter, we're just going to copy this data in an easy way using selection and copy. And now we will go to R to just to paste it. Let's see. I'm going to copy all this data table. Just copy and let's go to R now. We have to use the library clip R. Then once we have copied this information and we run library clip R, we are able to use read. There you go. And this function is going to give us, we're going to reproduce the information we just copied before. As you can see, have it here. Mm -hmm. Now let's translate this information to certain data frame as as we were reading a CSV file. There you go. We're going to run this information. However, we're going to say that this is text. And let's see. Now, there you go. And we can use TF. And you can see it. However, there is a problem when we copy this information, as you can see. There you go. You see that it has created certain columns, but they are not in the right format. That's the idea. Now, let's copy this as DF. Now, the other one we're going to use here, and we're going to say that's a certain separator. Separator, as you can see, we have tab, so we're going to use tab to work in order to separate. I'm going to call this one div1 and div1. Let's see. You see, it has changed. Now, let's see. And let me go. Hmm. It has changed in certain way, but it doesn't copy it the right way. So let's continue copying this information in a better way. Let's go back to our information. Now, as we can see, there is a problem with our columns. So let's copy only this information here. Let's paste again. This F. Hmm. As you can see, we don't have the column's name and we still have the separator. So we're going to use this part here. And there you go. As you can see it. However, there's a problem. I'm going to just reproduce this information. Read.csv text equal read clip. And the separator is OK. However, we are still missing our, we're still missing our header's name. So we're going to say header files in order to say that they don't have to take the second, the, well, actually the first line as our column's name is going to take it to the second. So let's see here, header files and the F2. We're going to rerun it. There you go. And let's see now. Beautiful. You can rerun this part. And there you go. You have copied all the data except one single line. This one, this observation here. But that's not our problem in R because we can copy this information in our new data frame. For our example number two, we will work with the library data pasta. Data pasta will allow us to use certain functions as clip R. We'll come here to add-ins and you will see that we have certain op options as clip R in data pasta. Well, we saw that we have certain data frames that we have to be aware about separation and headers. Let's see what pasta can give us. Let's go to our web page. Once we are here, I'm going to try to copy all this information using the, even the column's name, the variable's name, and let's see. 
we come here in add-ins and we say paste as data frame. You can see R start creating a data frame and we have certain options here in the, or our data. But as you can see, we still have some problem about the separation. Mm, well, let's see. We have to do this and let's try the other option, just copying the observations, not the counts names. See here, and we come here and we're just gonna copy this value here. And now let's back again to paste as data frame. Let's see. Mm hmm. They, it, R, R is not capable of detecting the separation, as you can see. So let's try again in our third option as we did with clip, clip R. Let's copy only this part here. Adding the colors names and the first operation is easy. So I'm not worried about that. And paste as data frame. And let's see. There you go. We have in an easy way our new data frame and that is displayed now. And we just have to copy this here. Let's copy this to a TF. And as you can see here, let's see, TF3. And we print it. And it's identical to our TF, you see. Now, let's discover something about these variables. You see, in is the data format, 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 and format. Well, great. Which way you have to use? It depends on you, because for this one, it has to be in our studio in order to come to the add-ins. However, with clip R, you have you can use read clip as you saw. So it's depending on you which function to use. The next step is going to be to add a column state and certain observation and to clean our data.